The other week, I ate like Nara Smith's toddlers for a day, but those kids aren't the only ones eating good. Her husband, Lucky Blue Smith, is also a prominent part of her TikToks, and it seems like he as well gets whatever food he wants made completely from scratch by the queen herself. And you guys love the toddler video, so today I'm gonna eat like Nara Smith's husband for a day. I'm just kind of assuming at this point you guys know who Nara Smith is, but if you need an introduction, go watch the toddler video, or open any social media app and scroll for five minutes and you'll probably find her. But if you don't know her husband, Honestly, congrats. You must have had a very healthy social life in 2013 and didn't spend all day on Tumblr. <laughs> Can't say the same for myself. But if you don't know, Nara Smith is married to Lucky Blue Smith, the model. He was super famous on Tumblr back in the day. Just a, a hot guy. What a power couple, oh my god. Some of Nara's most popular TikToks are things that she cooks for her husband. So today I thought we would watch them, make the recipes, and live like Lucky Blue Smith for a day. Dietarily, at least. I'm not booked on any runway. But maybe after a day of eating like him, I'll probably just have a shit ton of dishes and still no modeling gig. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I selected some of the TikToks and here's the run. I am just gonna do two again. Okay, for the breakfast one, she made homemade bagels and homemade cream cheese. I'm gonna make homemade bagels and then make like a vegan cream cheese. And then dinner, which was her most popular TikTok, I think, for a while, was when she made the barbecue chicken pizza from scratch. So we're gonna do that too, and I'm gonna make the barbecue, I'm gonna make the dough, I'm gonna make a vegan seitan chicken, and also a vegan mozzarella. My poor dishwasher. Help me, please! Alright, first up, breakfast. Let's watch. Today is my husband and I's fourth wedding anniversary, so I decided to wake up super early wow. and make some bagels and cream cheese from scratch. I started by making my bagel dough by combining warm water The garlic confit, she didn't even mention it. Brown sugar and salt. Casual. I kneaded that in my mixer until it came together and then I turned it out and kneaded it by hand for another six to eight minutes. Guys, I have a dough hook. I have procured the right dough hook. So hopefully it won't be as much of a struggle as it was last time. Once that was soft to the touch, I put it in my oil wow. bowl and covered it with a shower cap and a kitchen towel. Then I got started. <laughs> oh my god, y'all. My grandma one time, god bless her. One day when we were younger, my sister and I were visiting and we were just sitting in the living room and she walked in with a <laughs> handful of her shower caps asking us if we wanted any to use for leftover food. I was like, girl, what? <laughs> Your shower cap. I don't want no Garnier Fructis residue all up on my salad. But looking back, she might have been onto something. I'm sorry, Grandma. Started on making my cream cheese, so I added some whole milk to my pot with some Mixed lemon the cream juice cheese from and scratch until it curdled. Once all the whey was separated, I poured it into my strainer, lined with a cheesecloth, and let that cool, and then pressed out all the liquid, added that to my food processor, ah. and let that go until it was smooth. In the meantime, I pulled wow. my garlic out of the oven, let that cool while I sliced up some chives, and added both of those things to my cream cheese with a good That's pinch gorgeous. of salt and some of that olive oil. By this point, my dough was almost double in size, so... That's crazy. You can make so much from milk. I cut it into eight pieces and formed those into little balls before poking a little hole in them mm. and stretching that oh. out to resemble a bagel. I repeated that process wow. with all eight pieces and then covered those while I prepped my honey and water. Add all of my she makes it look so and easy. And then the bagels went in the water for about a minute. Boiling bagels? It's kind of like a noodle. Are bagels a new- Sorry, I need to shut up. <laughs> I'm adding commentary so it's not just me sitting here watching this, but let's focus. On each side before I put them on my parchment paper. I brushed some egg wash on them and then oh. layered my toppings on. So I did a few different ones. Sesame, smoked sea salt, cheddar, and fresno oh. chili. I baked those for wow. about 25 minutes and they came out looking so perfect. Mm. Lucky always needs his toasted. There so he he is. Did that And he gave them a 10 out of 10, which is very rare. So I was very pleased with that. And then I made wow. mine with my roasted garlic and chive cream cheese oh, and the so pickles good. I made the other day. At this point, look, he's already had three bagels, so I would say he enjoyed it. <sighs> wow, wow, wow. Her gorgeous gown, her gorgeous plate, her gorgeous man. <sighs> wow. Nara, let me in! I want her to give birth to me so bad. Also, no offense to my mom. I feel like my mom always- <laughs> Mom, I love you, and I would never want another mom. Whenever I say shit like Beyonce is mother, my mom's like, Mom, I love you and everything you cooked for me. And you too, Susan. All right, I need, sorry, I need to focus. Homemade bagels and homemade cream cheese. Let's make it. Like I said, I'm gonna make a homemade vegan cream cheese. And I meant to start soaking my cashews before filming, but I forgot, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna do a simple cashew-based cream cheese. So first, just one and a half cups of raw cashews, and then cover them with water. All right, got that covered. I'm just gonna set this aside, and let's get started on the bagel dough. I just looked around for recipes, and I found one from Sally's Baking Addiction. Sally, you crazy girl. Seem to be maybe the exact same one Nara used. All right, we need the Stand mixer. Everyone say hi to my dough hook. Okay, we need one and a half cups of warm water, 100 to 110 degrees. I'm gonna get some filtered water and heat it up in here. And then once the water's warm, we're gonna add it to a bowl with two and three fourths teaspoon of instant yeast. 
All right, one. I'm just measuring it to be more exact. Okay, there's two and three fourths. And then one and a half cups of the warm water. Oh, I'm spilling. Oh shit. All right, that's one and a half. I'll just double check the temperature. That's good. All right, now stir that up. I'm using instant yeast this time. Last time I used active dry. I'm honestly not, what's the difference? Does this like have sugar? All right, cover this for five minutes. Um, I'm gonna just use this. I don't have a shower cap. Okay, it's been five minutes. Is that supposed to be doing something? It looks the same. I don't understand yeast at all. I need to take like a baking class. It's a little bubbly. I feel like it could be more bubbly though. They're not warm enough. But it's instant yeast. So I don't even think we need to activate it. I don't know y'all, but Lucky needs his bagels. I'm just gonna trust the recipe. Okay, now we're gonna add flour, brown sugar, and salt. And it's gonna be four cups of bread flour or 520 grams. I got some bread flour right here. Okay, actually I'm gonna do 576 because this says a fourth cup is 36 grams. All right, got the scale. Here. Okay, 576. All right, that's perfect. All right, got that measured. And then a tablespoon of lightly packed brown sugar. And now we add this to this. And it says, beat on low speed for two minutes. All right, dough hook, it's your time to shine. All right, on low. All right, it's starting to come together. All right, how's it going? How's it looking? Oh my gosh, guys. Having the right dough hook is amazing. All right, it's all nice and combined. Now we're gonna keep kneading it for six to seven minutes. All right, I moved it over there because it feels sturdier. My table was shaking a lot. Okay, the timer went off, but it's not passing the window pane test. So I'm gonna need it for like another minute. <sighs> All right, y'all. Once again, I have no clue if the dough is ready or not. All right, if you poke it and it's slow to bounce back, it's supposedly ready to rise. All right. All right, and then the recipe says lightly grease a bowl with oil. All right. Oh, wow. Every time I make dough, I just feel like I'm holding Katy Perry. All right, and then it says to cover this, and then we're gonna let it rise for 60 to 90 minutes. Feels like a big window. Or until double in size. All right, I'll set that over here. Oh shoot, y'all, I forgot she also made garlic confit. All right, I'm gonna do it in my toaster oven. I just preheated it to 350. All right, yeah, garlic confit is easy. I'm not gonna overthink it. I have some peeled garlic. And now I'm just gonna cover that with oil. All right. All right, that looks good. And now I'm gonna throw it in the oven for like 45 minutes to an hour. All right, now let's make the cream cheese. I'm just gonna follow a simple recipe, blend this up with some vegan yogurt, lemon juice, apple cider vinegar, some salt. And then I also got some chives like Nara did. All right, gonna drain the cashews. All right, and then a fourth cup of unsweetened plain non-dairy yogurt. I love forager. All right, that looks good. All right, a tablespoon of apple cider, oh. Vinegar, and then also a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm gonna do that trick I just saw on TikTok where they just poke a hole. Like, oh wow, this has actually worked. I saw one TikTok and it just shot right out. Hold on. Wait, where's the hole? I lost it. Oh, I don't know about this, y'all. I, I don't know about that one. Um, Y'all lied. What? All right, no, I take back what I said. Let's save the testing TikTok hacks for another video. All right, and some salt. Let's see. Okay, it is all just sticking to the sides. Come on now. This is not working. <laughs> oh, the recipe did say to add it to a food processor. Hold on. All right, I'm switching it to a food processor. That's working better. All right, it's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna let it keep going so it gets creamier. This is looking good. That's what it looks like. It's nice and thick. Mmm, yum. All right, I'm just gonna set this in the fridge to cool. All right, some time has passed. The garlic is done. All right, fo let's focus up. It is time to make the bagel. The dough is very risen. All right, we're gonna line up two baking sheets with parchment and then punch it down. All right. <laughs> oh, this dough. Wow, this dough feels like perfect. Very soft and airy. Okay, and now we're gonna divide this into eight equal pieces. It says it doesn't need to be perfect, and it won't be. All right, there we have them. Shape each piece into a ball. All right, and now it says just poke a hole through. Okay. Oh my God. <gasps> wow. Oh my God, it's giving bagel. All right, there's one. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Wow. All right, another one. Oh my gosh, this is so satisfying. Wow, you literally just poke a hole in it and then it's a bagel. <laughs> wow, uh, these look so rustic and homemade. Oh wait, let's do four each tray. I guess that makes more sense. All right, here are our bagels. 
They're not, oh, oh my god. They're not perfect, but I kind of like that. All right, now it says to fill a large pot with two quarts of water. All right, we're gonna let those rest for a few minutes. And then it says preheat the oven to 425, and then get a pot with two quarts of water. All right, and then it says to whisk in a fourth cup of honey or malt All syrup. All right, adding that in. Okay. The water is boiling. Okay, now it says drop the bagels in two to four at a time for one minute on each side. Oh my god, guys, it's literally a bagel. Okay. All right. Oh, oh my god, they're floating. Wow. Look at them go. Oh. Wow. All right, I'll just do two at a time because that seems like what's going to fit the best. Oh, shit. Oh my gosh. They're puffing up. They're getting huge. Wait, let's flip them. Wow. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I don't know why they're so big. All right, I'm, I need to take them out. Guys, they're like huge. I feel like that's not right. <laughs> okay. There's one. Oh my god. All right, there's two. All right. Let's put two more in. Should there be more water, maybe? All right. These are looking not like Nara's. <laughs> we can say that much. But wow, I'm so excited to try them. All right, last two. Bagels have been boiled. Also, I went ahead and put the cream cheese in this little container. All right, and now the next step is to do an egg wash and then add any toppings we wanted. She did a few different ones, but I think she said Lucky's favorite was the cheese and chili. So I'm going to do some of those, although without the chili because I don't like spicy. All right, I got some cheese. Oh, wait, the egg wash. I don't have a brush, so I'm just doing it with a fork. I hope that's okay. I mean, it's not. I need to get a brush. I lost <laughs> it a while ago and just never replaced it. All right, now cheese. These I'll do cheese. These I'll do everything bagel seasoning. All right, y'all. There we have them. Um, oh, it smells so good. I am so excited. All right, and then it says to cook for 20 to 25 minutes, rotating the pans halfway through. Set timer for 20 minutes. Oh, I can't wait. Okay, now let's finish the cream cheese. It looks like she added a few of the garlic confit cloves. And then chopped up some chives. Wow, these look gorgeous. How'd she do this? She like mashed them up with a fork, didn't she? Okay, there's our garlic. That much seems all right. Gonna add that in. All right, and then chives. Let me rinse them real quick. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Mix that up. Mm. Guys, it smells so good. Delicious. Oh my god, y'all. It's so good. All right, and then she also added a little bit more garlic oil on top, so I guess I'll do that. Why not? All right, it's been 10 minutes. I'm going to flip them around. Oh. oh my god, they look gorgeous. Oh my god, they look stunning. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I love cooking. That's crazy. You can make anything if you just follow a recipe. Those are literal bagels in there. Okay, the timer went off, y'all. They are done. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh. Oh my god, y'all. Oh my god, they're stunning. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Oh my god. Holy shit, y'all. Oh my god, they're literally bagels. They look so good. Oh, and they smell so good. Oh, I love food. Wow. All right, so the recipe says to let them cool on the tray for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna move them to a rack for 20 minutes. So, all right. It is 9 o'clock. <laughs> Breakfast will be ready at 10. Okay, they've been cooling for like 15 minutes. I hope they're done. These are cooked, right? This one feels kind of soft. Um, oh, they smell so good. Oh, wow. Absolutely stunning. All right, I'm gonna keep letting these cool. Honestly, y'all, <laughs> hmm. It's nine, it's almost 9.30. We still gotta make the chicken, we still gotta make the mozzarella, we still gotta make the pizza sauce, we still gotta make the pizza dough. At this rate, if I try and keep filming this all in one day, I think I would be up until like 6 a.m. <laughs> so I think maybe I'll let these cool and then like start again tomorrow in the morning and then actually eat this at like a normal breakfast time. I think it'd be good if they cooled all the way. You know, she said Lucky Toast's his. Also, I'm sure this will just get better overnight as the flavors like blend together. I don't know what happened. I really thought I could do this all in one day. Oh, I have so many dishes. We're not even done. All right, yeah, I'm gonna move these to a wire wrap and then I'll store them and then tomorrow we will eat like Nara Smith's husband for a day. All right, good night. Everyone sleep well. <laughs> All right, see you in the morning. Okay, hi, I'm back. Ugh, guys, I am so excited. These bagels look so good. Ugh. Wow. I'm obsessed with dough. I literally kind of want to start an entire series just making different dough things. Every time I do, I'm just like, oh my god, we did that. Like, are you kidding me? Is this Panera? Wow. Oh my god, that's literally a bagel. Like, oh my god, that's lit literally a bagel. All right, Lucky likes his sliced and toasted. Oh, let me get the cream cheese. Oh, mm, that smells so good. Oh, y'all. I'm so excited. All right. I feel like they could be a little taller. I mean, this one looks pretty good, but okay. All right, let me try cutting it in half. All right. Let's see. Oh, oh shit, that is not in the middle. Okay, hold on. Oh, we're struggling a bit, y'all. We're gonna get there. Okay. Guys, that is a bagel. Oh, I can't wait. All right, I'm gonna toast it. These are genuinely stunning. I wanna eat one right now. Hurry up. All right, how's the cream cheese? This cream cheese is very thick, but oh, it smells so good. The garlic and the chives. Mm. Oh, wow, divine. Hurry, hurry. Oh, I didn't take my meds today. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God, y'all, they're gorgeous. Get out of the way. Uh, oh my god! Sorry, <laughs> I'm so excited. All right, vegan garlic confit cream cheese. Oh my god. 
Oh my god, I can't wait. Sorry, I'm so excited. Eating things you made from scratch is so satisfying. And this just looks gorgeous. I mean, hello. Hold on, I need a picture. Are you kidding me? Are you guys seeing this? All right, moment of truth. Mm. Oh, wow. Oh. Mm. Oh. Sorry, sorry. You guys said in my last video that I was moaning too much. <laughs> I'm just expressing myself, I'm sorry. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, y'all. Oh, wow, that is delicious. Oh my god, guys, it's so good. <laughs> sorry, I'm like in shock. Don't moan, don't moan. This is amazing. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my god, wait. <laughs> I'm like that guy from my Carly. <laughs> wow. We did that. It's giving artisan. It's giving... Mm. Mm. Guys, what dough product should I make next? I got a dough hook and I'm ready to take over the world. All right. I already finished the one, but she did say Lucky ate three. <laughs> I don't need three, but I do want to try one of the Everything Bagel ones. So I'm going to do something that a lot of you may think is cursed and cut off a St. Louis style. <laughs> Slice up the ends. Oh, wow. A little dip. Oh, divine. Delicious. Wow, wow, wow. All right, Nara Smith's husband's breakfast, eight. Oh my god, y'all. Guys, Nara just gave birth. Fuck! That should be me! <laughs> oh my god. Wait, what's her name? Whimsy? Whimsy Lou Smith. Aw. That's beautiful. All right. Let's keep it going. Wow, those bagels were divine. All right, let's see how his dinner is made. My husband's been craving barbecue chicken pizza and he wanted to order it for dinner wow. tonight, so I decided to get a head start and just make it myself. <sighs> I make never it more thought dough. I'd be making barbecue chicken pizza as a European, but here we are. Wait, did y'all hear that? I did not know Nara was European. The other day I came across a video of her speaking fluent German. Oh, she's powerful. Her lore expands by the day. I started by making my dough and letting that rise for about two wow. hours. And in the meantime, I made my barbecue sauce by combining some ketchup, red wine vinegar, garlic, some other condiments, and letting that simmer. Once it's thickened, I let it cool and start Back to the dairy farm. The cheese. I made a simple mozzarella cheese by combining some milk with some rennet and some citric acid, letting that sit, slicing wow. up my curds in a grid pattern, and then returning that to the stove. Then I let it drain and stretched it out to form my little cheese she balls. Looks like <laughs> Something about this is like giving Squid Games. She looks like the baker. <laughs> She's just in the back making all the Dalgona cookies. Sorry, I've never watched Squid Games. Do they wear white gloves? It's doubled in size. I flour down my work surface and make sure wow. to coat it in all that flour because it is really sticky. I divide it into four pieces, form those into little balls, and let those rest for another 30 minutes. Cover them with a kitchen towel to prevent them from drying out, and then move on to making my shredded chicken. You can season it That's however chicken. you like. Just make sure your pan is really hot to get a good sear on it. I let that fry and slice up my red onion in the meantime. Once my chicken was done and rested, I shredded it up and set that aside. I like prepping all my ingredients, so I sliced up my mozzarella and also decided to add some banana wow. peppers. At this point, I formed my dough into- That's crazy, she just made mozzarella? Barbecue sauce on there. Then I went in with some chicken, peppers, some onion, my mozzarella, wow. and slid that onto my pizza stone. Let that bake for mm. about five to six minutes, topped it with cilantro, some more barbecue Gorgeous. sauce, and dinner was done. Wow, I feel exhausted just watching that. <laughs> but all right, Lucky Blue Smith has been craving barbecue chicken pizza, so let's make it. Like I said in the beginning, I'm gonna make a vegan seitan chicken, and I think that might take the longest, so I think we should start with that. If I'm being honest, I've kind of fallen off of my seitan game. I used to make it all the time. I do not make it as much as I used to, but I'm still obsessed. It is definitely still my favorite meat substitute, but I am a little out of practice, because it's been a while, so I'm just gonna make a simple chickweed style seitan. If you don't know what seitan is, it has been a while since I've made it on this channel. It's been around absolutely forever. I think it originated in China. The traditional way of making it is to take like a wheat dough and then wash it vigorously until all the starch is washed out and then you're just left with the protein which is gluten and you steam it and cook it somehow and it sort of has like a chickeny texture and it's really high in protein but you can also just buy vital wheat gluten and then mix it with like liquid and spices and whatever else you want and that is what I'm gonna do. All right. Normally I like to like involve tofu too. But you can also use beans. I'm using chickpeas. Just gonna drain the aquafaba out. All right, I'm gonna do two cups of chickpeas, and then a cup of the aquafaba, two tablespoons of avocado oil, and then two tablespoons of white miso paste. Add a little extra just because it's good. Then I'm gonna do a little bit of liquid aminos or soy sauce, some garlic powder, like about a tablespoon. All right, and then like a tablespoon of onion powder, and then a little bit of apple cider vinegar, 
like a teaspoon or two. Apple cider vinegar can really help cut like sort of a weedy bitter taste you might get. All right, and then let's blend this up. Hello? E31? What does that mean? Is my blender not working? My blender's not working. Oh no, we have an error message. E31. Overheat error. I just turned it on. Hello? Okay, that's horrifying. I have no clue what's wrong with my blender. Vitamix warranty, you will be hearing from me. But all right, it's almost blended. All right, I don't know what that was about. We all have our bad days. All right, now we're gonna mix this with some vital wheat gluten. All right, now we're gonna combine this mixture with about 250 grams of vital wheat gluten. All right, that looks good. Now we're just gonna pour this mixture in here. All right, and now we're just gonna combine this all together to make a little dough. All right, this is looking good. I'm gonna go in with my hands. All right, it's all nice and mixed together, but now I'm gonna let this rest for like 10 to 20 minutes just to let the gluten absorb more of the moisture, and then we'll knead it to help develop the gluten even more. But okay, there's that. Maybe while that's resting, we can make the barbecue sauce real quick. I have a beloved barbecue sauce recipe of my own that I used to make all the time, but Nara just made a simple ketchup-based one, so I'm just gonna use this really simple New York Times cooking recipe. Super easy, just combining it all in a pot. All right, two-thirds cup of ketchup. All right, and a fourth cup of brown sugar. Sugar, and then a half cup of apple cider vinegar and then two teaspoons of smoked paprika oh I love the smell too I'm do a little extra. and then a teaspoon of cumin and then some salt and some pepper easy that's what it looks like and then I'm just gonna bring that to a simmer for about five minutes so easy wow this is what it looks like all right now that our satan dough has been resting I'm gonna go ahead and put it in my food processor and knead it for like five to ten minutes the kneading is what's gonna help the gluten form and then we'll get those nice like stringy stretches sort of like a shredded chicken oh god y'all I have so many dishes there's so many dishes off camera <laughs> Ooh, all right When you first start kneading it, it'll be a little crumbly, but as you can see, it'll start to come together and become this like smooth, like taffy-like dough. That's what you want. Oh no, did she overheat? Oh my gosh, it's stuck. Oh no. Okay. All right, this is what it is looking like after a couple minutes of kneading. As you can see, it's a lot smoother, a lot stretchier. I'm gonna see if it'll go a little bit longer. Oh shit, ooh girl. I was not paying attention. I did not see that almost falling off. Ugh. All right, it's getting there. All right, this is about looking good. I feel like it could go just a little bit longer. Oh, y'all, I'm sweating so much. All right, the barbecue sauce looks good. I went ahead and turned that off. And I think this is kneaded well enough. All right, and now I'm just gonna like give it a, a little like twist action. I don't know if that actually does anything, but in my mind, it'll help with like the shredded texture. All right, so now we just need to wrap it in aluminum foil. Just plop it down. All right, and then I'm just gonna kind of roll this up. You wanna try and roll it up kind of tight, because when we steam it, it's gonna expand a little. But keeping it tight will help with like the dense, chewy chicken texture. I know some of y'all are watching this like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> All right, and I'm gonna steam it in the instant pot. So I'm gonna put the steaming trivet in, add a little bit of water. All right. And now we're gonna place this in the instant pot. And now I'm gonna pressure cook this on high for two hours. Pressure cook on high. Oh, y'all, once again. <laughs> I thought I could do this whole video in one day. I don't know what I was thinking. I'm on day two and we're pushing it. Two hours. <laughs> Wait, let's try the barbecue sauce. Yum. Yeah. Simple, good, inoffensive. <laughs> it's very basic. I love a barbecue sauce with like some chipotle peppers and adobo. A little liquid smoke maybe. But this will be a perfect like great base pizza sauce. All right, let me clean up a little. Okay, I turned the camera off. It's been off for a while. But the seitan just finished two hours later, <laughs> and now I'm just gonna do a quick release. All right. Oh, sh <gasps> oh no. Oh no. I didn't wrap it tightly enough. It expanded so much and it burst through the seam. That's okay. We can work with that. Like I said, I'm a little out of practice with the seitan making, but it should still be okay. As you can see, it burst open. In my experience, sometimes when it's not tightly wrapped enough, it can get a little spongy. But honestly, based on what's split open, it looks like it'll be okay. All right, just gonna let this cool down until it's cool enough to hold with our hands, and then we're gonna shred it apart with our hands. All right, y'all, we're gonna get there. All right, Ty. Oh my God, my kitchen's a mess. Oh, and the light's in the way. All right, but it's been like 20 minutes, and this is cooled down. Seitan reveal. Ooh, wait, honestly, looks pretty good. As it cooled, it like sort of de-puffed a little. And then to shred it, I'm just gonna tear it down the middle. Normally I would kind of do it like this, but since it's split like that, I'll just start it with this way. All right, here's the reveal, y'all. Ooh, hell yeah. That's looking very good. See these shreds? 
It's kind of giving shredded chicken. Hell yeah, okay. And then, yeah, I'm just gonna keep like following the shreds. Oh my god, wait. Y'all, this actually looks so good. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, it is still pretty hot. But the texture is gorgeous. I'm impressing myself, it's been a while. <laughs> I'm just sort of tearing them into like these little sort of like bite piece shreds, kind of like how hers looks. But just as a side note, I mean, if you make seitan, you can make it any shape you want. Oh my god, y'all, these shreds are so good. Oh, mm. I love seitan. It's so satisfying. All right, this is looking pretty good. Here's a close up if you want that. Gorgeous. Wow, we did that. And you know, Nara like pan seared the chicken in the video, but I will say, I do think the texture does get better if you let it sit a little longer, especially in the fridge. It'll like firm up a little more and get even a more chicken-like texture. But wow, we did that. Oh, it's so good. Also, y'all, I'm gonna be honest. It's 10 o'clock right now. Why did I, I genuinely thought I could do all of this in one day, but y'all, we might be going into day three. Sorry, Lucky Blue Smith. Looks like we're intermittent fasting. All right, y'all, this A-tan rested in the fridge, and it's looking great. Honestly, I impressed myself. Oh, mm. so good. And it'll be even better when we like cook it on the stove. But okay, let's make the pizza dough. I'm just using this simple recipe I found once again on sallysbakingaddiction.com. Sally's got a lot of recipes. Do we need to get you the AA, Sally? All right, so first step is gonna be to combine warm water, instant yeast, and sugar. All right, and then one packet of instant yeast and one and a third cup of warm water. All right, and then it calls for a tablespoon of sugar. And then it says to mix this up and let it sit for five minutes. Okay, the yeast is activated. Now we're gonna add in a teaspoon of salt, two tablespoons of olive oil, and then three and a half cups of flour. Oh, and it calls for all purpose, so I guess I'll use that instead of the bread flour. Oh, that was too much. And now, like before, we're just gonna beat it on low for two minutes. All right, the dough is looking a little too sticky, so I'm gonna add a little more flour. All right, that looks good. Now we're gonna beat it on a higher speed for like five minutes. Uh, guys, it's so sticky. Something doesn't feel right. It just keeps getting stuck to the bottom. All right, maybe I'll just try doing it with my hands. The stand mixer is giving me problems. All right, we're gonna get there, y'all. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what's going on with this dough. I've been kneading it, and it just does not seem right. It's like not passing the window pane test. <laughs> I just want this pizza. I'm gonna cry. Oh, Jesus. How long, are, how, how long is this video? <laughs> are we at like the 40 minute mark now? Guys, I don't know what's going on. It's not passing the window pane test. I think I honestly might just have to try again, but maybe only using this flour. Right, I'm gonna turn the camera off, <laughs> but I'm gonna repeat all the steps we just did. Guys, I'm getting so annoyed and upset. I don't know what's going on. It's just not, it's not giving. It's not giving dough. I've been trying this though for like an hour. So honestly, I'm at a point where, you know, if the crust sucks, the crust sucks. Lucky meets his pizza. So I think I might go ahead and let it rise. And it's a little cold in my apartment right now, so I'm gonna do it in my toaster oven with the proofing feature. All right, I'm gonna do that in one sec. The recipe said to add a little bit of oil and then make sure all the sides are covered. And now we're gonna let this rest for an hour. All right, the dough is rising. Hopefully it works, y'all. <laughs> Lastly, we need to make the vegan mozzarella. I'm gonna try following a simple recipe from my friend Richard Mackin of School Night Vegan. Big fan, I've never tried this recipe before, but essentially it seems like it's just a base of silken tofu, some flavorings, and then tapioca starch is what's gonna give it the stretchy, ooey gooey, cheesy texture. I've never tried this recipe before, but it's super simple. We're just adding everything to a blender, blending it up, and then putting it on the stove to kind of activate the tapioca starch. Okay. Oh, y'all, I'm so tired. <laughs> All right, first step is 50 grams of silken tofu, two teaspoons of rice vinegar, and then a tablespoon of sugar, or I mean a teaspoon, that was a teaspoon. I'm losing it, y'all. All right, and then three tablespoons of nutritional yeast, and then five tablespoons of the tapioca starch, All right, and then a teaspoon of salt, and then 90 milliliters of vegetable oil or any other neutral oil. All right, and then lastly, 300 milliliters of water. And now we blend. E30, I'm getting the error message again, what the hell? Ugh, I guess I'm gonna cry. This video's a mess. My blender's not working. All right, y'all, yeah, I guess my blender's broken. So <laughs> I'm just gonna transfer it to my immersion blender. <sighs> oh, y'all. I think that's probably good. All right, we got our mixture here, and now we're just gonna put it in a saucepan over medium heat. And he says to whisk it constantly, and then after a couple minutes, it should start thickening up and getting stretchy. And that's when it's done. All right, fingers crossed this is good. All right, nothing's happening. Oh wait, I do feel it kind of starting to get, oh yeah, it's thickening up, y'all. Oh my gosh, it's happening. Oh wow, okay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's happening. Wow. All right, is that done? It's very stretchy and gooey. Smells good. Y'all, this is what it is looking like. It's definitely giving cheese. Slay. All right, yeah, I think that's done. Wow, gorgeous. Here, I wanna try it. Oh my God, yeah. Okay, Richard. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That tastes like vegan cheese. That's normally on pizza. The flavor's good, the texture's good. 
All right, y'all. We are almost there. The dough is done proofing. Oh, wait. Okay, now we just need to sear the chicken. All right, I'm just gonna add some oil to the pan. But I think our dough is good. It is definitely doubled in size. All right, I'm adding the chicken in. Just gonna cook it for like five minutes or so until it gets brown and a little crispy. All right, while that's cooking, let's get the dough ready. It says preheat the oven to 475. Now we're gonna punch the dough down. <gasps> oh my God, that was so dramatic. I almost feel bad. <laughs> and then, oh! Oh, hell yeah, guys. This dough is perfect. Okay, the recipe does say to divide the dough in half. So let me do that. All right, yeah, that's equal enough. All right, and now, y'all, it's pizza. Wow, wow, wow. All right, y'all, it is happening. All right, it says to place it on here and then stretch it out evenly. Oh, y'all. I really hope this is good. This feels like one of the most difficult videos I have filmed and I don't even know how long. All right, well, y'all, <laughs> some of the pieces of chicken I burned a little, but some parts look really good. Mm. All right, and we got the barbecue sauce right here. All right, y'all, we're almost there. Okay, she did have some toppings though too. Banana peppers and onions, I think. Let me double check. The only banana peppers I could find were these whole ones. So I guess I'll just slice one of them. And then also some onion. All right, the oven's heated, y'all. We're almost there. I am so excited. All right, first the barbecue sauce. All right, and then she went in with the chicken. I'm so excited. Wow, wow, wow. All right, and then some of the banana peppers. Some onion. Oh, it smells so good. All right, and last but not least, our mozzarella. I'm just gonna like drop little spoonfuls here and there, you know? Ooh, she's gooey. Yep, that's vegan cheese. <laughs> I really hope this is good. If this isn't good, I'm gonna be very sad and I'm gonna feel very stupid. All right, y'all, we made it. Here is our homemade barbecue chicken pizza. Mm, smells delicious. Looks a little interesting. <laughs> I think the cheese will look a lot better once it's cooked and bubbly and brown. But, oh my gosh, y'all, the moment has arrived. Into the oven she goes. Bye. All right, and then it says to bake for 13 to 15 minutes. All right, now we wait. Oh, oh my gosh, guys, it looks so good. The dough looks really good. It's so getting really puffed up, getting a nice little crust. Before we take it out, I'm gonna throw the broiler on just to get the vegan cheese a little more bubbly and brown. All right, I just turned the broiler. I just turned the broiler on. Guys, <laughs> I need to go to bed. But we're almost there. All right, I think it's done. I think it might be overcooked, actually. Ooh. Oh wow, y'all. Yeah, it's a little overcooked, my bad. I was just focusing on the cheese browning, I wasn't paying attention to the crust. I think it'll be good though, y'all, look at that. All right, and lastly, she put a little more barbecue sauce. And lastly, some cilantro. All right, y'all. The moment we have all been waiting for, the end of this fucking video. <laughs> ah. Wow, y'all. Gorgeous. Stunning. We did that. Oh wow, y'all. Ah. I'm so proud. Do I have enough pictures of it? I feel like, <laughs> what a moment. All right, it's time to eat it, y'all. Here she is, guys, in her final form. Mm. Smells divine. We got a cheese pull. Not really. <laughs> Wait, y'all, this actually looks so good. Y'all, we made it. Nara Smith's barbecue chicken pizza for her husband, made completely from scratch. Homemade vegan chicken, homemade vegan cheese, homemade dough, homemade sauce. My kitchen is the messiest it's probably ever been. I am very scared to do these dishes. But we have arrived, y'all. Oh. You want a close up? Ooh. Oh. All right. All right, moment of truth. Let's give it a try. Oh. Ooh. Oh my God, guys. Mm. Oh my God. Mm, hallelujah. Oh my God, it's good. Guys, I'm not joking. If it was not good, I would not lie to you. Oh, oh my God, I slayed that. Holy shit, y'all. It was worth it. We made it. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought something would go wrong, but it's actually really fucking good. Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> y'all, this is day three. I, I tried to play it cool. No, I've been filming this video for three straight days in a row. Hell yeah. Also the banana peppers and the cilantro. Very good. Wow. Oh my God. We did it. We made it. Wow, 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 wow. I'm already having a third. <laughs> oh, wow. That is amazing. Shout out to Richard for that vegan cheese recipe. It is really good. Oh, y'all. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> I feel like this video is literally gonna be like an hour long. Let's see, what else, what, I got, what do I gotta say in the outro? Nara, congrats on your baby. Wow. Thank you guys so much for watching. As long and tedious as this video was, I did enjoy myself. Oh my god, also this might be one of the last videos you guys see of me in this kitchen. Because I am moving. More on that later. If you guys could see, I have so many dirty dishes <laughs> just sitting off camera. <sighs> I gotta go. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. We did that, y'all. Like, oh my god. Wow. Alright. Love y'all. Bye-bye.